Welcome back YouTube and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to Cerakote an exhaust manifold. And when I say Cerakote, if you don't know what Cerakote is, it's a ceramic coating. Basically, you spray it on the outside of the manifold and then it heat helps keep temperatures inside. Therefore, low and under bonnet temperatures. Obviously, the more you do under the bonnet, the less the cooler it's basically gonna be. You wanna do anything that radiates temperature. So, <clears throat> I have only done one before. I am still new at this. I've done one manifold, which I'm gonna put a picture up of now. As you can see, it came out great. All we had was one slight little drip on it because it was the first thing I'd done. It was to be expected. You couldn't even see it was on, when it was on the car. Customer was more than happy. Um, waste out performance has been nice enough to send over a manifold for me to do. I believe it's off a of Fiesta. It is a turbo manifold, so I'm guessing it's an EcoBoost. So we're going to do it in Cerakote burnt bronze. So let's open up the manifold, clean it down, and go from there. Right. So here's the manifold. Let's open the box up and see see what we've got. Right away. As you can see, it's quite a tight, quite a tight manifold. It's going to be awkward to get it in some of these places, but we'll see what we can do. For a start off, what you want to do is you want to clean it down. Now you can use rubbing alcohol and a number of other stuff. I have just got brake cleaner, just because we've got loads of it and we've got it in these spray bottles. So I'm going to be using this. This is basically just to degrease it, anything, any kind of residue left on it. It's not going to matter too much because we are going to, we are going to blast it, which will get anything off. But it is just, it's just good practice to do this first, anyway. Right. So after you've cleaned it all down, just to make sure there isn't any lint or anything left on it. Just Obviously the brake cleaner will dry itself anyway, so yeah, that's it. Once it's all cleaned down, now we're going to blast it. Right, now we've decreased the manifold. What we're going to do is we're going to blast it. Um, in this machine, we've got aluminium oxide. That's what we use for blasting. Uh, brings up the surface really nice. If you are trying to DIY this at home, ideally I would take this down to a blaster. So just go take it down, get it blasted, bring it back and then DIY it at home. If you really don't want to do that, you just you need to rough the surface up somehow, whether you use some kind of sandpaper, scotch bright, anything along them lines. You basically, all you're, all you're trying to do is rough the surface up so the Cerakote keys to it properly. Um, whichever way you want to do that, ideally, like I said, I recommend shot blasting it. I am going to try and set up the camera on the window to the shot blaster to, so you can see the process. I don't know whether you're going to see anything or not or whether I'm even going to include the video, but let's get to it.
So that's it, the manifold's blasted, let's unlatch this and see how it came out. There we go, as you can see, came out perfect. So even got it in between all the little joints. As you can see, it gives it like a, like a matte texture. See, that's perfect for it to key to. Now, <clears throat> what you want to be doing now is ideally the next step is to, well, first off, blow it off, make sure you've got all the, all the blast media off. After that, it ideally wants to go in the oven to outgas. The reason you need to outgas is when you heat it up to a certain temperature, all the gases inside the metal will escape. This stops bubbles. I know that the C-Series is an air cure, but it is still recommended that you bake it. You can use a house oven, which I'm going to use now. We are we have ordered a big oven, but it will be here next week. So this is going in the house oven. You can, according to Cerakote, you can skip this step, but it's really up to you. I would recommend doing it. Even if you use a house oven, just put some tin foil in there. Um, and then put this in with it. It won't knacker up your, your oven. I mean, I wouldn't like powder coat or anything with the oven you cut food in, but just putting this in just to, just to outgas it should be more than fine. So what we're going to do now is I'll take it out. Just going to get some air on it. All right, that's it. Take it over to the oven. So our oven, it's a bit of a crappy house oven. Like I said, our big oven is coming next week. As you see, I put tin foil in the in the oven. That's just because I've powder coated in there. And when it, when it gets hot, the powder coat that's in the bottom of the oven will go sticky again. So we'll just put the tin foil in there, put it in the tin, put it in there. Uh, ideally want it anywhere, 180 degrees, 200 degrees, somewhere around that. Leave it in for a good half an hour. Longer the better. You're not gonna do anything by leaving it in longer. So yeah. We'll get back to you in a minute. Once your item's finished in the oven, you need to let it cool down, and I mean cool right down. Uh, you really need to let it cool down naturally. So what I do is I just open the oven door, turn the oven off, and I just leave it open until it cools down. You can pull it out and hung it up if you want to, but for now, let's get, let it cool down, and then we'll get it hung up and start spraying it. Right, that's it, we're ready to spray. Uh, I would have liked to get a close up so you could see really close where I'm doing it, but unfortunately, I haven't really got the setup to be doing that, and I don't want to get Cerakote on my GoPro. So I've set the GoPro back a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. You can watch it from a distance and then when I'm done, we'll get some close-ups then. So um, let's get the mask on, let's get it. So there it is, all done. I'm not even gonna lie, that was hard. 
just because of the way it's shaped, the way all the pipes bend. Here's a little spin round, obviously it's still wet. What you have to do now is you do need to leave it, you ideally want to leave it for at least 24 hours before you touch it. It will be touch dry in a couple of hours, I would not recommend touching it just to be careful. Ideally just leave it overnight before you touch it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll be back tomorrow, take it outside, get some proper pictures, some proper videos, see what it looks like. So yeah, I'll go back to you then. I'm more than happy about the way this one's turned out. Like I said, I've only done a couple of things in Cerakote. I've done three things in total. One was an engine cover on the E36. That was just a flat piece of plastic, so easy air, light work. The second was a manifold. It came out really good. It did have an ever so slight dribble. Customers were more than happy with it. You couldn't even see it when it's on the car, so it wasn't really anything to worry about. But then this manifold that I've just done now, this was probably the hardest one to do, as in like the angles and the tight spaces and stuff. But yet yeah, I've got no dribble. And I think, I, I believe that most of that is down to the gun I use. Like I said, the other gun I used was a cheap 30 pound one and it was big, it was like a full size spray gun. Whereas this Awata LPH8 here is a small one and it's got a sealed tank. Now, you might be thinking, what's a sealed tank got to do with it? The big one, when I used it, it's got a breather on the top. So when you're getting into the awkward angles, whether you're going just on its side or, running, or upside down, it leaked out, it leaked out the top. Only a dribble, but it still leaked and then it puts you off while you're halfway through doing the job, which is, you don't want that. This LPH one's got a full sealed tank, you can go upside down, everything doesn't leak at all. So, I mean, you don't have to, if you're just doing some DIY, you don't want to pay 250 quid, because that's what the what LPH 18 is, it's 250 pounds. So if you don't want to spend that, that's fine, but just go for a touch-up one, a small one, and try and go for one with a sealed tank. If it comes and it hasn't got a sealed tank, it's not the end of the world, but I would silicon it or tape it. Just do something to seal it, because especially if you're doing manifolds and stuff, you need to be able to get all around them angles and them awkward positions, and you don't want it leaking out. So it'll just put you off halfway through it. You don't want to do that. So yeah, just make sure you get a small one, ideally with a, with a sealed tank. You can get them for 30 pounds, same as the big one I got. Sealy did one the same in the same range, which stupidly I should have got. But I'm gonna go get myself one now anyway. I don't know whether I'm gonna go for the Awata yet or what, just because I've not done many yet. So I don't know, I might go for another cheap one. We'll see, but I am gonna get a small one with a sealed tank. But yeah, anything you would've done different, anything you wanna know about, just drop it down in the comments. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.